go. Hey, it's Bree here from the Treehouse. It's really late, it's uh, 10.30 at night, but I've decided I made a promise to somebody who was really, really so helpful. Uh, my face got smashed in this weekend. You can't see it because I have a lot of makeup on trying to cover it up. But my car window also got smashed in because I had some clothes to donate to a women's shelter. And I guess that the thieves decided they wanted to see if there was something else in the car. They didn't take anything, but my window was smashed. So um, Javier with um, Javier's Body Shop here was very helpful in helping me find somebody to replace the, the glass so it didn't cost me, you know, fortune to replace and so I had told him that I had made some sugar-free cheesecakes for him the healthy version and today I am going to make a coconut butt cake now um, I had a video where I showed you how to make this sugar-free healthy coconut flakes so you can look at that other video on how to make these so these are not just um, they're organic and they're just not unsweetened, they are sweetened with erythritol. So it's, it's really simple to make, but you can take a look at that video. So I'm gonna go over the ingredients first so that you know uh, what's involved to make this, and then we are going to put these together. So what you will need for this recipe, there are two cups of unbleached organ organic flour. I use unbleached, don't use bleached flour, just all-purpose flour. And mixed in with that is one cup of almond flour, okay? And then also, so here's a cup of almond flour, two cups of unbleached flour. Then, since you're using almond flour, you want to increase your um, baking powder. So I'm gonna use three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. And just a half a teaspoon of salt. I use the sea salt, the pink salt. And then I have one and a half cups of butter, so three sticks of butter, eight ounces of cream cheese, uh, three cups of erythritol, okay, no, please do not use sugar, six large eggs, two cups of the coconut that I sweetened with erythritol, a teaspoon of the vanilla that I made myself, extract, and one and a half teaspoons of coconut extract. You're going to need um, some additional ingredients for the glaze. And uh, I will put all of this in the description. And when we get to the part for the glaze, we'll go over how to make that. So I'll see you back shortly. Is it starting? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're going to spray. I got a butt um, cake pan. I got it off the Amazon. It's called Castleware. It's ceramic coated. I'll try to provide a link to that as well. So I, I use Pam. It, this actually has um, some flour in it. So all I have to do is like this spray it. Don't want to go crazy. That's the hard part. And you, you, I washed my hands so far. So I forgot to let you all see Fiona. I don't know if she went to bed. Did she go to bed already? Uh, no. Or is she hanging around here? Oh, she's right by me. Oh, I have to wash my hands after. <laughs> but but she's so cute. I should I should show you all with her dress. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll show you. I got her a costume for Halloween, and she is just too cute. And I'm biased, but she is. Anyhow, all right. So you grease grease the butt can pan. I'm sorry. Shouldn't be doing this, but anyhow, I am. All right, so you also need to mix up all of your dry ingredients. So I have the two cups of all-purpose unbleached organic flour. I'm gonna mix that in. I'm gonna mix the cup of almond flour in, the three quarters teaspoon of baking powder, and the half a teaspoon of salt. That's all my dry ingredients. Make sure you mix that up really good. Always want your ingredients mixed really well. We're not going to mix the sugar in because what we're going to do is when we beat the butter and then the cream cheese, then we're going to add the sugar, beat that into that. Okay. So, all right. So, 
mix all these string I can smell the almond. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. I love I love nuts. Pecans. I like pecans the best, but I like almonds too. So, anyway. All right, so we've got this all mixed up here good. We're good to go. Now we're going to take our butter. We're going to put it in here. And you're going to want to mix this for about four minutes so that it'll be nice and fluffy. So I'm not going to have you all sit through me mixing this for four minutes. I'll be back in four minutes and we'll continue with this recipe. Okay, so you see I mixed the one and a half cups of butter up. It's nice and fluffy. Now I'm going to add in my eight ounces of cream cheese into this. I'm going to continue to at high speed to make it fluffy. Keep it all nice and light for another uh, two minutes and then I will be back to show you the next step. Thank you. Okay, so now we um, mix together our one and a half cups of butter and eight ounces of cream cheese. We made sure that we whipped it for four minutes the butter and then an additional two minutes with the cream cheese in it. So now I have my three cups of Rico all. I'm not going to pour it all in at once. I'm going to pour a little bit in, okay? like that and then I'm gonna mix it until I'm a little bit at a time until it's all mixed in and then I'll be back to show you your next step okay so tired but I'm gonna finish this I have mixed together my one and a half cups of butter eight ounces of cream cheese and then three cups of areca salt mixing in slowly the areca salt so now I have six large eggs and I'm going to put one in at a time and after each one I'm going to going to beat the mixture until I can no longer see the egg yolk. So once I'm done with all six of these eggs, I'll bring you back and show you what the next step is. All right, so now I have my one teaspoon of homemade vanilla extract. I'm gonna pour that in the mixture. And I have one and a half teaspoons of coconut extract. I'm gonna pour that in. I'm going to mix that together and When you're mixing, you want to make sure you get the size of your pan. I don't have a great kid made mixer. I had one, but I uh, don't have it anymore. Uh, anyhow, maybe for Christmas. Um, my grandfather was a baker, and I think that's why I really like baking. But I want to bake healthy. So, just make sure you get the size of that. And then you're going to slowly start to mix in your dry ingredients. Remember the flour, mm -hmm. the almond flour, the salt, the baking powder, I think that's it. So you're just gonna mix a little bit at a time, just take a little bit, mix it in there until all of this is mixed together. And then finally, we're gonna add in our coconut. So I'll bring you back when this is all mixed together. All right, so we have everything all nicely mixed together. It looks really nice and fluffy. We've got to get this from here into here. So it, it's important once you get all the, I'm going to use two spoons, or two spatulas rather. Okay, good. All right, so it's important once you get everything into the bunt can to kind of tap it, um, or just kind of, I'll show you, shake it a little bit so that you don't have any air pockets in the bottom of this and then you're going to bake it at 325 degrees in your preheated oven for 45 minutes and after 45 minutes you're going to put a piece of aluminum foil over the top of it and bake it for probably another 45 minutes i would check it periodically um, to make sure that it's done you can just stick a long toothpick or if you have like a skewer Stick it down in it and as long as it comes out you know pretty much clean um, then it is done so we got to get all of that in there and a lot of cake mix so i believe this is a nine inch but 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 pan i can get that out um i will put that in the description as well Make sure you use the right size pan. 
I thought about using little small individual ones, but then you'd want to cut down the baking time significantly for that. So, but I just went ahead and made a big one this time. After you take it out of the oven, you're going to let it sit in the pan on a wire rack for a good hour. And then you'll take it out and let the cake sit on the wire rack for another hour. And then um, you'll, of course, you know it's flipped over. And we're going to make the icing then. We'll probably do that tomorrow. It's too late, actually, tonight. I can't stay up until like 1 o'clock baking. So, I'm waiting. So, I do have to stay up to wait for this to be done. And this thing is really full. So again, since I'm using almond flour, you use a little bit more of your, if you're using baking powder, baking soda, use a little bit more of that to help it rise because the almond flour is heavier than the flour is. So, just about got all of this out of here. Then I'm going to stick it in my oven. Again, I'm gonna bake it for 45 minutes and then I'm going to I'm going to put the aluminum foil over it and bake it for another 45 minutes. So we'll be back when it's done. And I'm flipping it over to show you how it all turned out. And we shall see and we'll uh, do the icing. All right, see you soon. So I almost left out one step, which was to shake the pan a little bit. Tap it good to make sure that everything settles down into this because this has, you know, it's not a flat butt pan, is it? So you just want to make sure you don't have any air pockets in there. So shake it good and then put it in the oven. And we're good to go. We are making the icing for our coconut cake, which you can be always up until like 2 o'clock in the morning. Actually, later than that, making sure this all turned out well. So I have a terrible headache, but we're gonna get through this. So I'm going to use one cup of Swerve. This is a confectionery um, made from Arethasol. I believe it is made. I need to actually check. But I bought this because, uh, da, 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 da. where does it show? Ingredients, erythritol. Yes, okay. So it's erythritol. Now you can make your own confectionery sugar with a blender and some regular erythritol. You just blend it up until it turns into confectionery sugar. Just to save time, I'll be honest, because this is really pricey. So you can make your own from regular erythritol in a blender and it turns out well. I've made it before. Maybe one time I'll do it just to show you all how it works. So I'm gonna put this in there. And then I'm going to take one tablespoon of whole milk, okay? Um, and I'm going to, with a whisk, make it all smooth together. So I'm going to take one tablespoon of milk at a time until this gets to, you know, icing consistency. So I'm just going to mix this in here. I'm going to take an eighth of a teaspoon. There it is of coconut extract. So just one eighth, it's a really small amount. Oops, okay. Okay, put that in there. I'm going to mix it together. Now see, it's not quite enough here. So I'm going to put another tablespoon of milk until you get to the icing consistency. You don't want it too runny. It's kind of hard to I'm going to put another tablespoon in here. Still. I think a whisk wasn't my favorite. Okay, so I need to put another tablespoon. So three tablespoons. Let's see if that does it. One tablespoon of the swerve. Yeah, that's the, you know, I've got the icing consistency. I want to make sure I get it all nice and smooth. Okay. See how nice that is? Mm -hmm. So then I'm just going to ice the cake. And once I ice the cake, I have some of my pre-made with a Rebethal coconut flakes. 
And I'll put those over, so I'll be back in a minute to show you the finished product. Okay, so... Okay, so I have put the icing on the coconut cake and my Arethitol sweetened coconut flakes, and we are ready to go. And so Fiona just wants to say hello, like her little costume for Halloween. Yes, so adorable. She is much prettier than the cake even, huh? Anyhow, hope you enjoy this cake, and I'll put all the ingredients and the directions in the description. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.